the United States reserves for itself the right to try to influence the politics of those, uh, you know, very big countries uh, in a way that would favor its national interests. Why is it assumed in Washington that somehow this is only uh, American, exclusive American right? Why is this right to try to influence uh, political, uh, apply political influence to Russia's neighbors? Why is this right denied to Russia? I mean, all countries practice that. What's so controversial about Russia doing that? Well, <laughs> at, its, at its core, I, th I think it reflects, uh, uh, you know, a powerful, uh, you know, tendency in the American political elite uh, that, you know, we won the Cold War and that, you know, what are American interests, uh, you know, should be the interests of others that, that I mean, it's, I, th I think it's, I think it's true that in a, an American uh, dominated international system, which has existed, uh, you know, since World War II, has been a benefit for most for most countries in the world, but you know the devil's always in the in the in the details, and uh, I'm af I'm afraid that we got uh, a little bit dizzy with success. You know, it was it, it kind of all peaked around 2000 in the early early 2000s, and there was this belief amongst you know core figures and the, sort of the neocons in the Bush administration that uh, you know about what what could be achieved uh, by the use of American military power. Mm -hmm. And what we found out is that, uh, you know, American military power is much more limited in its, in its useful implementation or constructive implementation than maybe some people, some people thought.